what initially drew me to interior design was my father was a general contractor, my uncle was an architect, so I guess it was in my blood. I wish I still had these floor plans <laughs> that I did as a little kid. My career route has been a bit circuitous and that began with a lot of medical work, hospitals, I specialized in private cancer centers. That led me to Washington DC where I worked in very large architecture firms, but I always felt that I wasn't actually directly affecting the human experience. And that I feel is what's led me to residential design, which is what I do today. So many things about my education at SCAD, I see how they impact my work those fundamental principles I learned when I was at SCAD. Form, shape, proportion, those are all things that I take into consideration. Everything I design, everything I build, everything I do as a designer. I'm a lead accredited professional. For me that has a lot of meaning in that I understand how to build things and what materials to use that are safe, that are good for the environment, that are energy efficient. And a lot of times our clients, they think they don't care about that, but when the first baby comes, or the pet gets sick, or they're taking care of the mother-in-law, all of that becomes really important. I would describe my style as classic with global influence. First and foremost, the spaces we design need to be comfortable, but I also think that each piece in the space has to have meaning and a special quality to it as well. We always get input from the kids, from the dog, from, <laughs> from the nanny. I find that I'm much more successful as a designer when I'm inspired by my client. When I really look at things that they're interested in, where they've traveled to, what their lifestyle is, what's important to them. The most rewarding part about what I do every day is the end result and seeing the reaction on the client's face. It doesn't get any better than that. Mm -hmm.